Rain, who is it? Well, look who's here. If it isn't Ad, <laughs> welcome to our house. Hi, Ad. My wife and I have lived for the last、uh, 12 or 13 years in suburban LA, but we wanted to get even further out of LA. We love Southern California and the feel. We wanted to be a little closer to the ocean and have a little bit more space and a little more quiet. And then we discovered this place and fell in love with it. I would say the house found us. So we we came. Don't say that. That sounds like it's haunted. <laughs> it sounds like the、It、house is, is going to devour by us by benevolent ghosts. Throughout the house, you'll、yeah. see wood that's over a hundred years old that the original owners who built the place in 1975、uh, brought up from Mexico to create this kind of Spanish mission style. Is beautiful wood beams, repurposed wood throughout the house. Another thing we loved were the saltillo tiles, which all have、um, radiant heat underneath, like the Roman Roman tiles. And it's really indoor, outdoor, and we have a bunch of animals that like to make a mess, so it kind of works out really well. Plus, we have a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, it's TV's Mindy Cohn <laughs> from Facts of Life. She sometimes comes over and uses our pool and hangs out. Hi, Mindy. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah. How are you? Fantastic. Do you need anything? You want another cocktail? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mindy. Okay. Come over here. I'm going to show you this. So this. Is really weird. Okay, the original owners built a safe room, a panic room, right in here. So right here used to be an enormous three-ton steel bank vault door that they got from the Bank of Oxnard. Yeah. And it had like the big dials and the whole thing, like、and、a Jesse James safe. Lead lined. It had its own phone line. It had a ventilation system. It had gold bullion. I am not kidding you. I don't know、Lots、what they were thinking, <laughs> if it was going to be like a zombie apocalypse room or something like that. As much as my inner Dwight Schrute would have loved、uh, a panic room and a safe room for the zombie apocalypse, we decided to let it go. It's a butler's、yeah. pantry now. Dwight、uh, once played a, a robot butler, <laughs> so this would be a robot butler's <laughs> pantry. As lovely as this house is, it had a lot of. Features that were originally there from 1975, so、yeah. we needed to kind of gut the kitchen and make it more modern and more roomy. I love our、uh, designer Tammy Wood found、yeah. these incredible、uh, lamps, chandeliers. Yeah, these, these are Coke bottles and and wine bottles cut out at the bottom, which、yeah. we loved. This is like cheerleader apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece called The Majorettes by a, a visual artist from Iowa. We get this、uh, magazine, New American Painting, and there's always incredible stuff in there. Yeah. Sorry. And if you come out this way, you see we get a nice ocean breeze, and this is our、uh, incredible patio. And、um, fun fact: one of my very favorite possessions I've ever owned is this table. Which was handmade and crafted by none other than Nick Offerman from Parks and Recreation and a million other things. Back when I was on the office and he was a little more unemployed than I was, because we used to be old actor friends, kind of going up against each other for kind of character roles,、um, we、uh, hired him to build this table, and he's a master woodworker and craftsman. This is a, a joined table, joiner. There's no nails; it's all kind of like fitted together. Okay, let's go. This is one of a piece that we've had for years that we love by this artist named Chris Murray, and he is this amazing artist. He goes and finds pieces of cardboard, and then creates exact replicas in graphite pencil of buildings. And so this is near City Hall in New York City. Here's our dining room. We have a large collection of Haitian art. My wife and I started a nonprofit in Haiti called Lide. Lide Haiti that、uh, works with girls' education. We currently help educate about 800 girls in about 13 different locations all over rural Haiti. This is、uh, an artist named Franz Zeferon, and we have a whole bunch of his paintings throughout the house. This is like the universe swirling and all of the animals of creation,、um, and then you even have like aliens. And、uh, alien <laughs> ships. Spaceships. And,、yeah. Here's another one of his pieces. And there's a fun fact because 
This guy up here looks exactly like the main kind of director and cinematographer from The Office, Randall Einhorn. What about this collectible uh, gas station Petroliana, they call it, is uh, collectible gas station art. There's a family that owns all of them, and I was able to find one that had bullet holes in it, which I liked. Nice. Right there. Yeah. Keeping it real. Tell them yeah. about these beautiful <laughs> photos by Joe Sola. Our friend Joe wanted to do a living art piece. Because his concept was, uh, in France, in the 18th, 17th yeah. and 18th centuries, they used to paint horses mm -hmm. and then let them trip trot around in like the... Versailles. In Versailles, yeah. and they were walking horse art. So he did walking horse art in contemporary Los Angeles. Media room. Fun fact, the yeah. kooky couple that built this house had a bar. They recreated in Mexico uh, the bar in this room. So this was a saloon room. We took the bar out and put it kind of in our garage workshop, turned this into a TV room. This is all repurposed wood. Yeah, this was a gift to Rain that I gave him for his birthday one year. These I love. These are wooden hearts. Um, that were from a German medical school. And so they were studying, this is in the 1800s. So this one is a fish heart. Someday my heart yeah. will be on a stake yeah. in this room, right Holly? That's right. Look at this incredible scalloped entryway to the living room. Uh, there are incredible details like this throughout the house that they just wouldn't uh, do uh, in contemporary homes. Here's our living room. We call it uh, the opium den, uh, not because we're condoning drug use, but because it kind of looks and feels like an opium den. Yeah, we've, we traveled a lot in Morocco. It's where I was pregnant with our son, and, yeah. and we got really into tribal rugs and just the layering of the different fabrics. Big beams, original beams brought up, again, from Mexican woodworkers, repurposed from farmhouses. That was our image is being able to really gather in here and yeah, we, uh, music and... Bought a house to have people over and to build community and bring <laughs> people to make art and be creative together and then, uh, and then the pandemic hit, so, yeah. but, but someday. Yeah, and we loved like old things that have been updated. Like I love what Tammy Wood did with the patterns, like this, this reading chair. Um, you know, it's a couple centuries old, but she's redone it and then added this cool beehive. Giant trees. Giant trees. We would like eventually to have actual beehives here on this oh, property. Oh, look, what's here? <gasps> <laughs> SAG Awards. <laughs> Wonder who those belong to. <laughs> Not me. Oh, those are heavy. All right. What were you saying about the bees? This is my office. I got to keep one or two of the props I got to keep back from the office. And I love to collect fan art that people will hand me or, or send me. These are some beautiful hand-drawn pieces by office fans out there. And I, I have a whole collection of some really, really cool stuff. My father is a painter, was a painter. He recently passed away, Robert Wilson. And this is one of his uh, last pieces he completed before he passed. Uh, it's really beautiful. I love it so much and I love having it right across the desk from me. This is Me and Kippenberg by Joe Sola. This was in my office at our old house and uh, our son uh, had a play date and had a friend over and the friend came into my office and saw it and turned stricken white and bolted out of the room and later we got a call from their parents and they were like uh is it true that you have a picture of penises on the wall of your office and i was like yes but it's art beautiful hand carved door from mexico it's at least 50 to 80 years old this is one of my favorite places it's where i work i'm a fiction writer i like to go where the light is and so i keep it pretty simple, but this chair is from, it's an old chair where women would sit to have their, their like, their wigs Their wigs on. done? Yeah, it's a wigging chair. So, I don't know. Sometimes I'm wigging out while I'm working. Nice, but, I like uh, that. You like that? Nice view too. Yeah, it's good.
This is a uh, Haitian voodoo flag. This was handmade by a group of women. It took them like a year. There's uh, every one of these beads is hand stitched onto this. Some of the people were older that were living here, so they had these his and her toilets. So <laughs> that's my favorite part of the house yeah. is the his and her toilets. Yeah. So we can poop at the exact same time. But also one of my favorite things about this bathroom, the way they designed it, this architecture is just fantastic. Um, there's this bathroom area here and they built a walled bathroom garden, completely private. So while bathing or pooping, you have uh, this incredible garden right outside your window. It's amazing. So this is my favorite part of the tour and I, I, I have Toasty O's with me because we're going down to see the pigs. We just finished construction on their barn. What do we call it, Rain? The Pig Palace. Yes. Pig, pig. And you come on in, and it's really cool during the day. So we left the wire open so that the breeze could come through. And then at night, they have their blankets, and they sleep in the casita here at night. Pig Dutch doors. Pig Dutch doors. And if they, when they play the piano, they get a treat. Pig, 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 pig. Hi, Bobby. Come on. Snorty. What's this? Amy. Hey, what do we got? Come, come. We got cereal. Come on, Amy. Come on. Hi, come on. precious girl. Look. It's snorts. okay. Come here. Look. Amy. Come on, Snorts. She on. knows. Come on, let's go. Amy. This is uh, Amy. She's a little precious piggy princess. Yeah. Snorty is the big bull in the china shop. He's the weird neurotic. He's very big, shy and ugly older brother. Oh, we are no such thing. Good girl. They love to have their stomachs. Snorty, come on. Well, thanks for stopping by, A.D., but I'm afraid we've got some uh, pig chores to do now, some bathing, some grooming. Bath time, clip time. Some feeding. So long. Thanks for coming. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Come here, Sorry. Come on. Let's get in the bath. Get that hose.